हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू वर्चुअल सेशन नाउ इन टूडे सेशन वी गो टू डिस्कस अबाउट स्विंग नाउ इन लास्ट सेशन वी जस्ट हैव अ एलिमेंट्री डिस्कशन अबाउट ए डब्ल्यू टी राइट एंड वेर वी गेट सम आइडियाज दैट ए डब्ल्यू टी इज यूजफुल फॉर बिल्डिंग जी वाई एंड विच इज abbreviated for abstract windows toolkit means windows look like gui we can able to produce but friends like awt was a version designed by java and this is uh, right now an older version right currently for developing gui for desktop application we are having a latest library designed by java that is called as swing it means in one line what exactly swing means it's an enhanced version of awt means whatever the drawbacks or limitations we were having in awt they overcome it they enhance it modify it update it and develop a newer version and that newer version is called as swing so obvious instead of devoting much more time or in the in the exploration of awt as you to as it was older versions to build a gui graphical user interface better we devote much time understanding and developing gui application using swing but before going for exploring swing library let us understand what was the limitation in awt right in awt awt library is heavy wet it means while constructing gui using awt the components provided by awt were occupying much more memory as they were utilizing local operating system resources and due to that awt library is a heavy wet it means it is going to occupy much more memory and hence the loading time the processing time will be more required and hence awt library library is heavy wet and in swing they try to modify it it's a swing library is lightweight it means they update enhance that library in such a manner that it will not occupy much memory comparing comparing to awt components so they become lightweight means like easy to load as you know whenever your application consists graphical user interface it takes time to load so loading time is important for us because ultimately applications what developer will design client 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 have to run on their local machine and if the loading time is more much more required obviously such kind of applications will not be appreciated so comparatively swing based gui is a lightweight and it takes lesser time to load on the machine and hence it is lightweight also right and second lesser gui friendly it means 
the entire components provided by EWT, we cannot add more GUI in the sense like okay, uh, the images we cannot able to add. There are lesser uh, as they they were uh, taking a larger time to load, and they were occupying local operating system resources. So. Uh, we we were in a, we were unable to make them more liquidity or rather what you can say more GUI friendly where we can add the add the images onto the component that was not possible in case of AWT but in case of Swing it's like more GUI friendly means like. I'm trying to explain you that right now instead of using AWT components we have to use the swing based components which are comparatively more lighter more GUI friendly right and they provide the ease to build a GUI over there right like but but uh, try to understand one point that they haven't isolated the AWT right now till if you are using Java 8 or uh, because AWT comes with a version of Java 2 and right, right now we are using Java 8 Java 9 but till it consists AWT it means they haven't isolated that discarded that AWT they keep it as it is over there as you know while uh, importing AWT library we have to use a package called as import java.awt.star but while importing swing library you have to use import javax.swing.star it means they produce an enhanced package by the name of javax javax stands for java extended means like in your entire java library you have an AWT as I said they haven't discarded it they keep it as it is and they provided you the new enhanced updated library with a package called as javax and javax consists that swing library for that so in AWT we have a component called as label in swing we have a component called as J label. In AWT, we have a component called as text field. In Swing, we have a component called as J text field. In AWT, we have a component called as button. In Swing, we have a component called as J button likewise it means we have a AWT library also available and they enhance the package by Java X and the same pro, uh, same library J label becomes uh, sorry label become J label text field become J text field button become uh, J button over here so means entire new enhanced updated library they the design for us to have a lightweight better GUI compatible like components for which we, which we can use for the better GUI friendly applications over there. So this is initial difference between the AWT and Swing and that is why in today's session I am going to discuss about how I can produce frames like you have a frame in AWT here we have a J frame. So now uh, whatever coding I will be uh, designing, I will be I will be writing for the sake of developing GUI, I will be using a swing based library over here. Hope you understand my point. What is swing? Swing is an enhanced library over AWT. Whatever the limitations AWT having, what those initial limitations are, they are the, the components provided by AWT were high, uh, they were heavy bit as well as lesser GUI friendly 
but the swing provides lightweight components with more GUI friendly. So instead of discarding the AWT components, they come up with a new package called a JavaX swing dot swing. So by by taking the initial idea of AWT, they provide you the enhanced module of enhanced library of swing over there. So let's explore the library of swing and developer GUI applications for the sake of develop, uh, developing desktop applications. Right? So let's have a uh, let's write a uh, free swing based JFrame firstly. So I will create a project by the name of I'll say the Java applications by the name of demo swing right and I'll be going to store it in a folder virtual session right so my target location is the virtual session in that folder I am going to save a project called as demo swing and I will create a main class with the demo swing ok no issues and I will click a finish over here so right now I will get a I will I, I'll I'll be having a class called as demo swing Now, uh, my target is constructing first swing based application, right? Swing based, you can say front end application because you are going to produce a GUI using swing. So this is your default package and then import a package java.awt as I said uh, they haven't discarded awt even and then java.awt.event.star this is for awt components which we are not using now and this is for event handling they haven't make any modifications in the event handling they keep it as it is and then we have import java x dot swing dot star right so so now uh, Three important packages we import java.awt.star, java.awt.event.star. In the prior session, we had a discussion on that why we need awt package, why we need event package, and now uh, we are using a java.swing. Swing. It's a swing library. Why swing library? To use enhanced updated GUI library instead of using AWT over here. So now public class demo swing is my uh, targeted class and which I am going to extend JFrame. Now in case of AWT based frame uh, we have a class called as frame class and now in swings we have a class called as j frame capital j capital f so uh, i'm using a, i'm developing swing based frame not awt based frame right and uh, implements if you have any button let's say we will produce a we'll be able to, able to produce a simple application uh, related to the uh, swing 
so it may consist label text field and button but as i said uh, we are not going to use awd library for event handling uh, they are we are to use the same one action listener action listener is an interface which is useful for processing button events right so it is not going to replace only visual uh, only visual components gui components of awt will be replaced by the lightweight swing components so public class demo swing extend jframe implements action listener now here you know well that okay first of all you have to declare gui components like i am using j label jlp1 then you will be having a j text field jtf1 and let us say we have a button so j button right j label j text field and j button i am having a label and i have a text field and i am having a button this for the for the sake of uh, you know, understanding i am building this applications let us do one thing okay why we why don't we construct a application for performing arithmetic like so read any two numbers and perform all possible arithmetics with them so my target is to read two numbers and perform all possi possible arithmetics like addition and subtraction but like gui best application over here so public class demo swing extends frame implements action listener so obviously uh, i am expecting a, a gui like where, where i got the title as a uh, arithmetic applications then enter first number then the text field enter second number the text field and the result and again text field and then i am having a button over here means like when, uh, when, uh, whenever i run this applications i should be able to enter any two numbers and then once i press any button if i say add then it should able to add the two numbers and give me the result in the resultant text field that is what i am expecting so for that reason for what i how much labels are required j label jlb1 jlb1 i am using for you uh, need using for uh, that application title then jlb2 maybe for enter first number jlb3 for enter second number jlb4 i am using for uh, the result one right and then j text field one uh, i am using for enter first number j text field two second number j text field three right? so i am uh, using a proper nomenclature so that like uh, j text field i can i can i can able to recollect uh, jlb1 j label 1 jlb2 or something or you can uh, you can you can uh, declare the components in such a way that you can able to recollect in the code right so jbt jbt1 j button 1 is for the button 1 which is for addition maybe jbt2 subtraction jbt3 multiplication jbt4 division right and then i'll use for refresh right j bt4 5 right i'm using five buttons now so uh, i declare all those components label four labels three text fields and five buttons then i'm i'm having like first initial uh, difference we need to understand uh, between the awt in awt we directly add the components onto the uh, frame right this dot add this is the syntax we used but here we have to use a container container now create a declare a, declare declare an uh, ob object of container container class means 
instead of adding the initialized UI components onto the frame to make them lightweight, why not you add them to the container? That is the idea here. Means in AWT, we added, we 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 declared, we initialized GUI components, and then these do not add. Means like we are adding into the frame directly. Here in JFrame, instead of adding, you can add the components onto the JFrame. That's not the problem. But like, idea is why not you add those components to the container? So it become more lightweight. Let us understand this. Container CP. I'll explain you again later on. So container is for developing a container class. So that I will add those all the components into the container class, right? Okay. Then define the constructor public. Define constructor public. Demo swing and add string title. You'll get from the user the title of the title of the frame. And initially the code is same like AWT super title means you pass on the title what you get from the user right Set to the swing based frame sets a title of frame right and then you need to set the size of a frame this dot set size let us say you have a size of you need a size of uh, width will be 1200 and height will be 800 right this dot set size is actually sets a size of a frame because this is referring to this is a reference object as your current class is extending from frame so this is referring to the current frame over there so it set the size of it then cp equal to cp means now you initialize the object of container cp equal to get contain pen now this get contain pen means like whatever the size of a frame whatever the size of the frame cp become of same size cp become of same size cp is container become of same size over there, right and then cp dot cp dot set layout right because as i said we have to add the components to the container so set layout and set the layout null this is called nullify the default layout layout means how the visual components will be appear onto the frame by default default layout layout is called as a flow layout a flow layout means the components will be added the components will be added one by one but i need to set it uh, as a null so that is make this step actually nullifies the default layout means now, now as per my requirement i can set the bounds of visual components i can set the xy of the visual components and uh, assign to the or and and uh, like uh, make them uh, applicable to the that that visual component will appear onto that particular position this location i will specify i don't want a default location that is what i mean right so cp dot set layout null it says the nullify the uh, default layout right then if you want to have a background color then cp dot set background color dot whatever color you require and um, let us say cr is a background color sets a background color cr 
cp equal to cp cp dot set background i'm sorry cp dot set background kendra dot something and then uh, get get content pen will get whatever the default size of the frame uh, i'll assign to cp now uh, cp dot set layout null cp dot set background to something okay then let us initialize the uh, components one by one actually this step is called as initialize frame properties right means like set its title set its size uh, get the content pane whatever the size of the frame apply to cp then set the layout to null and set the background color over there, right and then uh, lastly you have to make it this dot set visible true to make that visible uh, make the, make that uh, frame visible true over there okay now what i will do i'll initialize gui components just like jlb1 jlabel1 equal to new jlabel right and then i'll say arithmetic application then why don't you uh, create the font object even font f equals to new font let us say you are you want to apply a font called as arial what is the style of the font you required and the size you required right so j label equal to new j label this is our label 1 why why don't you initialize all the labels now right initialize label jlb2 is for into first number then label 3 into second number now while uh, as the length of the code now in a, uh, like increasing so it's better idea to uh, use a proper sequence right so initialize all the uh, like gui commits is not it's very tough to recollect na right? because there are there may be uh, more number of components so some of the steps may be missed over there so in such situations declare all those components firstly now you adopt uh, the way i am coding and right? so you'll uh, uh, You, you you get used to with how to deal with the larger uh, like uh, length of the project over there right if you are like basically uh, the focus and the concentrations as well as the sequence is much more important it's easy to uh, build a code right but right now our code is coming into the category of projects not in the category of sort of you know, like some small programs of uh, reading a number and reversing it or sort of right so in such situations like uh, the the commenting as well as the sequence is much more important so now uh, i am having j label because any one uh, mistake or any one syntactical uh, uh, syntactical syntactical error may lead to the uh, it's very tough to debug it uh, later on so uh, it's a bit better idea you can you can apply the better comp uh, the comments as well as a uh, better sequence should follow so uh, arithmetic application is a title and then Uh, first number second number then why don't you go with the result so these are the possible labels we are having so arithmetic application enter first number second number result these are the uh, basically uh, components we are having then uh, you initialize the components of text field right so jtf1 right equal to new jtx field so here the step is initialize x fields
then we have three text fields now first number then we have a second number then we have a third number means the result then you initialize buttons even right so jpt1 equals to new j button and what the first button is called as add in this manner you have four buttons or i believe whatever number of buttons were subtract multiply divide how many buttons are there five buttons okay the last one may be useful for refresh and so j button 1 j button 2 j button 3 j button 4 j button 5 JPT for you. Okay. So I will JPT or yes, that's right. JPT for right. So now all the buttons means label, text fields and buttons are initialized now. Then set font of all components. So we set the font of all the components. So J L B one dot set font F in the similar manner. Now you uh, instead of uh, taking separate steps, J L B two, J L B three, J L B five four and five. We have five labels, I believe. No four labels, so there is no point to add this. Four labels. Then we have text field J T F one dot set font F. Okay, a copy of it. Three text fields. Then we have four buttons, uh, five buttons. So. JPT one dot set font F JPT two JPT three four and five add all the fonts to uh, every Uh, component. After that, uh, you will set the foreground color. Now, set some foreground color for all the components. J L B one dot set foreground color dot red. So likewise. Sets the foreground color of every label, then text field. Three text fields we are having. Then we have to set the foreground color of all the buttons. It like most of the time, then it's a copy paste sort of things are there. But anyway, we need to follow the sequence. J B T will two, three, four, five. Okay. J B T one, J 
JBT2, JBT3, JBT4, and JBT5. Right. So uh, we initialize the components. We set the font. We set the background uh, foreground color. Now it's time to add, uh, like, set the bounds of them. Sets bounds means like uh, initializing their x y on the frame no? set bounds of components now j l b 1 j label 1 dot set bounds now what the bounds you require uh, j l b actually j label 1 dot set bounds now set bounds uh, is going to specify the x and y where it appears right so jlb1 is for the title of the application so why not you set with the let's say 400 with the x and 100 with the, is a y and uh, it uh, have a text like arithmetic application so it may require uh, okay 250 as a size and the width will be i'm expecting 30 this is the for the label one so now in the similar manner you go with the label two label two prompts the user related to the enter first number so maybe uh, it's a after, after the title and uh, you start with the uh, like initial frames maybe 200 200 is a start point 100 is a uh, instead of 100 you go with the 150 150 is a uh, missed uh, between the two lines uh, the difference with the fi of 50 so jlb2 dot set bounds 200 is x 150 is a y and uh, width and height will remain the same over here then uh, j text field need to be the adjacent to the uh, to the you know, enter first number and then there, there has to be text field so i will write jtf1 dot set bounds now uh, 200 x and uh, 250 is a uh, size of it 200 plus 250 is total 450 and uh, so that's why uh, i need to add that text field on the same line so why, why don't you start with the 500 so that like 450 and 50 is a space between right so 500 this one jtf1 dot set bounds 500 is a x y will be the same because i have to make it appear on the same line width i'll go with the okay uh, maybe 250 or like i have to enter a number only so i'll go with the 150 and 30 is the size of it hope you understand now first is a title uh, i know i get i get a title over here in the label then enter first number and the text field now why don't we copy this then because i'm having i have to repeat this for uh, label next labels so lb3 and jtf2 so here i have to uh, just uh, change in the y instead of 150 i'll go with the 200 so that vertically i'll get the 50 space and rest is common just i have to change the y same I will go with the 4 because I am having the result over here and here I need a 250 right and here JTF3 here I am need a uh, 250Y that's it 250 as well then I, I need to set the bounds of a button JPT1 dot set bounds now all the buttons need to be adjacent to each other so i will start with uh, let us say uh, 200 okay and uh, the y will be 250 up with uh, i will start with 300 200 and 300 and then i'll be needing a width of maybe uh, okay, 100 because like I, i'm having the buttons over the 150 with the sufficient width and 30 is the size of it so now first button is on 200 x and 300 y and uh, 
150 will be the size of it. So 200 plus 130, uh, like 150, is 350. If I need to add this and another button, then I will be having the coordinates like JPT2 uh, dot set bounds 200. But uh, okay, is, uh, like the X will be 350 means 400 on the same and then. Four hundred plus one fifty, that is five fifty. Plus, why don't you start with the six hundred now? That is for button three, and for the button four, uh, seven fifty, and we say eight hundred. Button 5 that is uh, 800 plus 150, 950. So we start with 1000. Right? So, in this manner, now uh, every component we uh, set the font, we set the foreground color, we initialize them, we set the bounds to them. Now it's time to add them. Right? So, cp dot add, add, as I said, we have to add the components not to the frame directly but to the container. And we initialize container cp equal to get content file. So jlb1. Right. So add all the components now. Add all the labels. Cp dot add jlb1. All labels. Firstly, label two, label three, label four. All all add add, add all the labels. Then add all the text fields. Jtf1. F2 and 3 then add all the buttons T1 T2 3 4 and 5 okay. so we add all the buttons also now uh, this, this dot set visible true makes makes a frame visible All right now uh, obviously we need to uh, as we are going for the action list actually so means processing the events of the button over here right so first of all uh, like I will not be process all the events. What I will do, I will simply uh, add a public. Okay, you do one thing. You, well, you uh, first of all remove this or make a comment to this initially, and, uh, and then because we, uh, 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 let us view the GUI firstly, how it is appearing, and then we'll process the button event. So implements action because if you implement action listener obviously you have to override the method called as action perform so right now i'm not going to do this and i'm going to add the another code over here so now i'm having a gui components of initialize so why don't you uh, create the object of this and pass on demo swing as a title okay and just let, let's run it means there is no need to create the object also and then directly run it we will get the result as a swing based frame let's check it out firstly how my GUI components will be appear okay look at this is what the end what your end, end result of your efforts uh, or the code what you write you have arithmetic application as a as a title of the actually demo swing is the title of the frame but your application title is arithmetic application. Enter first number, you have to enter the number over here. Right, enter second number, right? You have to enter another second number over here. And if you just like click on the add, their addition has to be appear over here. But like as I said, uh, we just only build a GUI. There is no we haven't uh, yet processed any events, right? So other like and then in AWT frame, 
like after viewing this GUI, you will find that there is a difference. Man, right? AWT wear uh, components were heavy wet. They were taking time to load and all, but it's light wet now. More GUI, uh, like little bit enhanced GUI, what you are getting over here. And in AWT, what you observe that you cannot, you are not able to close the frame also. Here you, you have to add the code for closing the frame. But here you can easily close the frame also. So right click on this, run the file. You get a GUI, right? Friendly GUI, what you can say. Okay, so now. Uh, this is the end result of, of my code. Let us recollect sh uh, uh, like shortly what I did. I uh, create a, my class, extend JFM. We are exploring a swing library over here. Right? So uh, I'll, I'll declare all the components like J label, J I explain you in AWT we are using label, now we have a J label. In AWT we are using text field, now we have a J text field, J button. And then you have to declare the container. You don't we are not supposed to add the components onto the frame like AWT because it was uh, kind of heavy wet. So, uh, it, they will uh, like uh, a user will appreciate a GUI which is more uh, light wet and rich in GUI. Right? So, uh, like swing based components are more light, light wet and the, at the same time they are rich in the GUI also. So the coding setup is just same like AWT. We declare everything, then we got a constructor where we uh, set the properties of the frame. Super title, we set the title of the frame, and then uh, this is the set the size of it. Then contain, get contain pen, we'll get the dimensions of a frame and assign to CP. Means now my container become of that particular size. And then uh, CP dot set layout now. As you know that default layout layout means way of appearing that the GUI components are. Uh, by default there is a uh, flow layout but now we need to uh, use a uh, your nullify it so that i can set my own bounds and uh, make that uh, components appear on the frame uh, set background color and then the font i set over here and then i uh, initialize all the label text fields buttons and then set the fonts of them and the background set the background color of them set the bounds of them the bounds means setting the x and y right so this is what end result you get it like when you find an arithmetic applications and then label this is what the coordinates uh, settings i did in the bounds and then i'll add them all the components and make them visible true but now it's time to process the my application will be uh, complete when, when, when i'm able to actually uh, perform the uh, events onto the uh, buttons as well right because i'm producing uh, arithmetic applications Okay. So now here in this case, yeah, here one extra opening block is there. I, as I comment already. Uh, okay. So now uh, what we need to do before adding those buttons, we need to add the action list around to that, right? So JPT one dot add action listener. This. Right. We'll add the action listener. So JBT two dot add action listener. Add action listener means it start listening the action performed by the user on that particular button. Right. In the event handling, we already studied about this thing. So JBT one dot add action listener. JBT two dot add action listener. JBT three dot add action listener. JBT four dot add, add action list and jbt phi dot add action list so means now uh, this action listener is set to the all the buttons so if you process any event on it it listen the listen the listen the action and create the object of action event and pass on to the event processor what is the event processor that is action perform so you need to write the overwrite the method public void you set the title over here process button events as i said there is no uh, separate event library for swing the same there is only the separate library for a gui component not the separate library for the event processor it's the same like awt so public void action performed action 
event a in case of event handling we already studied that now once you add action listener add add action listener is a event listener to start listening the listening the event listening the action on that particular button and once user perform that action it it produces the anonymous object new action event it produces the anonymous object of that action event and pass on that object to the action perform right so now here a e will start uh, start referring to that particular button object so i need to identify the source if a e dot get source is like if action event object is referring to the jbt1 means user if user press jbt1 then what what uh, uh, like response you need to give event handling means actions and response of the system so if a dot get source means action event event action listener will listen the action and it produce the object of action event and if the action event object is referring to jbt1 means user clicked button 1 then what you have to do so you have to perform the addition then int a equals to integer dot parse integer of j t f1 get text field 1 dot get text the same method is over there dot to string means what it will do it will get the text of j t f1 because you have to read the first number that like we are using scanner dot next will read the or scanner dot next integer will read the uh, will read the number over here in this case jtf jtf1 get text field 1 dot get text and then to string and it goes br dot read line then you need to parse it to the integer to make it as integer the same thing we studied the buffer reader buffer reads the data in the string format but here in this case we have a jtx field so jt jtx field uh, provides me the method code as get text to read the text i'll convert into the string and then parse it to the integer to make it as an equal to the integer variable right and after that you need to read the second variable that is jtf2 and add them int c equals to a plus b right and then uh, in the result text field jtf3 dot set text you set this resultant variable and convert them into the string also as well right so uh, when you click on the add button it reads the first text uh, first number it reads the second number add them and Uh, set the resultant text over here right now you write the processor for the button 2 else if if you press a button 2 then you have to perform the subtraction so i'll be simply uh make the changes in the set the, the arithmetic symbol right and if third is for i will use multiplication and for this for division and the fifth is for refreshing the things right means like clean up the entries so i'll have to remove this code and jtf1 set text make it null because uh, Uh, only dynamic entries you entered into the text field only right so jtf1 and jtf2 and jtf3 right so uh i simply make them null get text will get the data and set text will set this Uh, so once i uh, click a refresh i will be able to i'll be able to uh, enter new numbers over there right so okay fine so now my application is completely ready with me 
I've got a arithmetic applications where I have, I can dynamically able to read the data from the user and able to perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division on the entered numbers. Let us try this. Now, first number is one, two, three, four, and second number is maybe one, two, three, right? And just let let add them. We'll get the result. One, three, five, seven. Subtract them, multiply them, divide them, refresh them. Some some like apostrophe is adding. Let us like I believe somewhere extra apostrophe is added somewhere. Okay, here it is. Read on it. Enter first number. Enter second number. Add, subtract, multiply, divide, refresh. Right. So, yeah, here it is. Somewhere we will make the changes. Extra apostrophe is added actually. We are making change this in all the because you copied the sorry okay hope uh, the things are clear we build a arithmetic application and refresh simple and sober. Means like this application. Obviously, you know, like uh, if you go to the length of the code, you will find how uh, how tough it is to write the code. But like as I, as I already said uh, to you that okay, to produce the applications, uh, a few applications you have to de you have to declare them, you have to initialize them, you have to you know, uh, set the phone, set the foreground color, add them into the uh, like frame component and make them uh, like uh, event processor and everything so uh, obviously the length of the code will be much more but like it's very easy all right like if you follow the sequence as i said you should be uh, like more focus oriented at the same time if you can just like uh, 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 adopt the proper sequence the way i am adopting i believe you can easily able to build the uh, applications like this right so we are learning about awt uh, enhanced AWT's enhanced version that is called a swing. What, what is swing means? Swing means it's an enhanced version of AWT. Initially, we discussed the difference between what is AWT and what is swing. Swing, swing is a, a Java X dot uh, swing package is there. So swing means if you have a frame, now it is replaced by the J frame. If you have a label, it is replaced by J label, J text, J button, and then instead of adding all those component to the uh, frame, we have to add the component to the container. Right. So first of all, declare the components. Then we need to write the constructor. Then this is what the uh, like set the properties of the frame, and then you, ini you initialize the label, you initialize the text field, you initialize the buttons, you set the font of them, set the foreground color, set the uh, like uh, bounds of them, and add them, and then uh, like obviously like, then add make them add action listener. Uh, if you have buttons, and then add them add the buttons also. Right. And then, uh, like you process the events, and in this manner, you can able to uh, develop the application like this, right? So, hope you guys uh, able to understand how we can able to construct a simple uh, swing-based frame uh, to demonstrate you the example. I just like uh, take an example of a simple AWT like uh, label I replace with a J label. Text field I replace with a J text field and then button I replace with a J button over here. So in this manner, I can in this session I can able to clearly distinguish what is the difference between AWT and Swing. And instead of devoting much time in exploring AWT sessions, now I'll be exploring uh, more Swing-based session because Swings are more lightweight and provide me the better GUI support over there. I hope you understand everything, right? So thank you.